So I'm here in beautiful North Norfolk on the east coast of Britain and uh, I'm staying at my lovely friend Peter's. Peter, come on in. And um, Peter and I have been off to the local fish shop. And what have we got? We've got your lobsters from last night, which we've got the shells from. We've got prawn shells and, uh, and those are mixed with a basic mirepoix of celery, fennel, um, onion and garlic and there's some beautiful extra virgin olive oil there. Look. What we're making is, a, I'd say it's a Norfolk fish stew but with very very strong regional hints of weir base because one of the defining flavours, if I can get into it, is saffron and saffron is just the most amazing amazing thing and saffron, here it is, is the stamen of the crocus flower, okay? Oh my goodness, and it, it, it is, for me, tomato-based fish stews. So there it goes in my first pack of saffron. I've got another one I may add later. Theoretically worth more than its own weight in gold. So that is awesome. Right, Peter, we're gonna add white wine. Now, all I'm making at this point is the base liquor, the, uh, the, the sort of stock that everything else will be cooked in. We're gonna poach new Jersey Royal potatoes in this saffron stock. <laughs> We're gonna poach beautiful pieces of hake. I've got octopus, I've got massive great prawns, and uh, it's gonna be just exquisite. Um, it's a real labor of love, but it's the most wonderful thing. So we're gonna cook that out for about a minute, but before we go any further, it's time to add. Let's just cheese a little bit. I've got some bottled longestine broth here. And it goes one, two, and tomato passata. <laughs> I can't open. I've got it. Oh my God, smell that. It's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's not bad. so actually. complex already. It's something about the shells of a cooked lobster and the shells of a prawn that just adds so much body. And um, we're going to bring that up to heat, let it simmer. I'm going to add some water to it as well because that's going to form the base. I'm going to add that much water back in. But let's just let it sit there for a moment, Peter. Let's just try it. You just you know that that broth, that f the flavour that goes in that stock is going to be exceptional. Now let's have a look at our little friend in here. So... Our potatoes are now in there and we're now going to simmer the potatoes in our beautiful saffron lobster stock. Look at the colour. It's only saffron that gives you that colour. You can't cheat, you can't fake, you can't use a fake saffron, just saffron. Now my potatoes are simmering away. They're going to be another 15 or so minutes. So now it's time to start making the rest of it. So. Again, beautiful olive oil, because that's a lot of the flavor in the dish. And then into that, I've got a mix here of red pepper, bell pepper, I've got onion, and I've got and, uh, fennel, really important. That's great, so this is aromatics that we're gonna actually eat rather than ones that have gone through the stock. I found a slightly wrinkly dried chili. Great, because I want a bit of spice in there, so I'm gonna drop that in. In goes our glorious heritage tomatoes. So these are really lovely tomatoes which we're going to pop in and cook. And I've got some lazy garlic here because I'm lazy. Yeah. Lazy garlic. We're going to sweat that for about five minutes on this lovely heat. Drop more of the olive oil. Sweat it for five minutes. Let those tomatoes start to cook right down, get all beautiful. And then um, once my potatoes are cooked, the broth that the potatoes are cooked into, that amazing shelf of stock, that's gonna go in here. That's the base for our soup. I'm gonna season it, and then you just gotta poach the fish. Now I'm almost at the fish stage, so let us just slice up some of this gorgeous octopus. This has been cooked for about an hour and 20 minutes. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got. We've got phenomenal prawns, these beautiful big prawns. We've left these raw, but we've taken the shell off the tail. We've left the very tail and the head because it looks nice and it's easy to eat. I've got hake. Now hake is amazing white fish, much prized in, in France and Spain, less prized here, but a beautiful fish and octopus. 
and they're going to go really, really well together. They're going to be our main course, as it were. We've got parsley, we've got lemon, and then all I need is salt and pepper, and we can create something really special for our lovely friends here in Norfolk. Now, it's not often that you can transform a humble potato, and these are actually beautiful, waxy new potatoes, um, into something amazing. But when you cook them in lobster and saffron stock, you get an amazing coloured <laughs> vegetable that is, is, in its own right, is just definingly good. Look at those. And now, now we get to pour the broth into here. create effectively the soup for our bouillon base. So this is what's called rui. So we're making a little, a little mayonnaise effectively. I'm doing the juice of a lemon, gorge like that. Juice of a lemon, an egg yolk, and I need my garlic. I'm gonna use some of this pulp garlic because I'm rushing now. Gotta be punchy. That's it. Thank you so much. And here, I've got some saffron. Now I just used all my saffron in my brewer base, but luckily my lovely friends have got more. And this is gonna add an amazing traditional flavor. There we are, to our rui. Now the olive oil is for flavor. Not much, just a dribble. And you'll see it immediately emulsifies. You could just buy this, but where's the fun in that? You are, you have a thick one. Now I can get it a bit thicker, but I need to season it. A little bit of Tabasco and some pinch of sea salt. And of course, black pepper. There we are, and a little, I'm gonna put a little bit more of that beautiful olive oil in for flavor. The flavor of Southern France. Here we are, let's taste it. Oh, you ripper. Garlic. It could have a little bit more guts in it. I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper. So, fish, one. Octopus, in. Beautiful. And our stunning big fat prawns. And if that isn't as pretty as a picture, I don't know what is. So all I'm going to do is put the lid on this beautiful Le Creuset, this lovely old cast iron pot, so that these steam up nicely. It's on a nice low simmer. We're going to give them a solid six to seven minutes, at the end of which we can serve. I'm just doing some sourdough croutons on the bars. Ooh. Ha. And uh, there's some useful things about being a chef, as in no nerve endings in your fingertips. <laughs> years and years of abuse. Um, right, let's go and finish this off and get it plated up. I'm very excited. So first things first, I'm going to slice some of these beautiful potatoes, these saffrony potatoes, and put a load of them on the side of the dish here. And I think one of the things about weir base, about a, a dish like this or a fish stew, is that it needs to be theatrical. Well, we've lost our tail, but I'm sure we'll be forgiven. It needs to be theatrical, it needs to be amazing. Let's go in for our hake, which I know will be lovely. Poached a treat. I'm going to extract some octopus. Just a sprinkle. There we go. Totally classic weir base, just with whatever ingredients I could find in the fish market today here on the Norfolk coast. It's a bit of work, it's a bit of a labour of love, 
but it's just flavour and health and deliciousness. And I hope you've enjoyed it and you should definitely try this one. And we obviously eat bouillabaisse, prawns, hake, rui, croutons, and there's the bad boy himself. Look at that. Ooh. That is very, very, <laughs> very good indeed.